Hey y'all, me again, another Saturday, another show, well not even a show today, today we're just going to talk. Um, I wasn't here last week, of course you guys noticed I didn't post a video last week, I had one put together, but at the last minute it I didn't air it. Um, y'all know me, I kind of want to use this platform to remind you that the world is a great place, full of amazing people, and... Unfortunately, these days I'm not seeing it, and yeah, it's just, those of you, y'all know I'm in Canada, woo, recently moved from, to Ontario, from Northwest BC, and if you've seen, I don't know how, I don't have cable TV, I don't see the news shows, I don't know how much is actually being aired out there, but Canada's in turmoil right now, and it's absolutely unbelievable the reaction of people. Like, I'm, I'm all for everybody. You know, you have your right to your own opinion. Yes, you can think whatever you want to think. You do not have the right to force that opinion on anyone, and you sure as hell don't have the right to threaten people who don't believe the way you do. It's just wrong like whether you're pro pipeline or anti-pipeline or whatever the situation is what's happening in my country is wrong and that's i don't know how else to put it like it's absolutely unbelievable and not only the base action like the big gas company wanting trying to force the pipeline through where it's not wanted okay that's one issue. Fine. It's not wanted. They were given another route. They chose not to take it. They want to push this fight. That's fine. I'm from Northwest BC. I've been involved. I know the area. I know the people. Yada, yada, yada. But here's the thing. The land was never given. It's not Canada. It's their land. They have a right to do what they want. They proposed, like I said, they proposed another line for this stupid gas line, pipeline, whatever. And it was rejected and it was forced. But anyways, they're standing up for what they want. And for the cops to be able to go in and arrest them is just mind-boggling. To go, like, you're going into a camp of un unarmed and it's just mind-boggling. And, okay, so that's the one issue. That's fine. Whatever you think whatever you have no right to open your mouth you don't know what's going on type of thing right but they've got supporters there are supporters all across we've got rogue blockades of trains we've got slowdowns of roads we've got blockades of roads we've got parliament buildings going on and yeah support like i'm all for it i would be on the line if i were arrestable but it's just absolutely nuts and the comments these people whether you agree with them or not, are standing up for what they believe in. They have a right to do that. You have a right to not like it. You have a right to think they're inconveniencing you. That's fine. What you don't have a right to is to say it's okay. The trains should run them over. People should... Cars have gone through blockades. Like, seriously? That's what you don't have the right to do. You don't have the right to put somebody else at risk because they think differently than you do. That's just wrong. And I'm sorry. I try. I want to keep upbeat. I want to keep believing that the world is a good place full of amazing people. But I can't right now. All I see is crap and it's... It's actually hurts it that people could think it's okay to talk like that to someone else you know that people think it's okay to threaten somebody over okay see this is why I didn't air last week's thing because I got really emotional so I'm going to cut it here I'm going to finish getting ready for work I'm going to ignore all the little barbs and comments and stuff that I see online and that I hear because it's absolutely horrible you know what? Canada is multicultural. Everybody's supposed to belong. Everybody's supposed to have a say. Everybody's supposed to be treated the same way. And that's not happening right now. Whether you 
believe in them or whether you side with them or whether you don't, that's one thing. You don't have the right to treat people like crap to threaten them because they believe different than you do. That is just not right. Everybody, everybody deserves to be treated like a person. That's all I'm going to say on that. I will see you next week, hopefully in a much better mood. Bye, guys.